Friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and if you're new, a special welcome to you. And in today's video, I want to share with you 10 of the best tools to stress test your GPU on your Windows PC. Now, you might be wondering why it is important to perform stress tests on your GPU. And this can really help you to check overclocking validation. It can help you to identify hardware issues, test cooling efficiency, performance benchmarking, and even burn in testing. So these are some of the five reasons why you would need to do a GPU stress test. And in this video, I want to share with you 10 of the best tools that I've come across that I want to share with you that you can utilize to do this. No, guys, I'll be sharing these 10 websites with you and tools that you can go ahead and you can download. And I'll be going over some of those features of them as well. And I will share the link within the description of this video so you can easily go ahead and check these websites. So the first one here, guys, and maybe one of the most popular ones that you could come across, it's Formark, right? And you can utilize this by easily downloading. As you can see in the website here, they have the version zero and you can easily download the latest version from here and you can play around with it. You also have information here of what the previous version was and so forth. You can get information. What are the top features of this current tool? is basically you can, it has extremely stability testing, real-time temperature and fan speed monitoring, benchmarking mode, and it support multiple GPUs. So you can easily go ahead and utilize this. And some of the pros about this is basically, it does very intensive stress testing. It has a simple interface and it's free to use, right? So you wanna keep that in mind. Now, the second one here in the list that I wanna share with you guys is 3D Mark, right? Some of the features basically it has multiple test scenarios for different use cases that you can basically play around with. Detailed performance analysis, comparison with other systems that you can do as well, and VR performance testing. And some of the pros about this tool, it has widely recognized benchmarking scores, regular updates to the new test, and comprehensive testing suite and of course there are some cons as well such as the full version it can be very expensive and of course some testing may be overkill for just the casual user so you want to keep that in mind as well now the next one here guys that i want to share with you is heaven unigen right or you can pronounce it as unigen i pronounce it heaven unigen if you know a different pronunciation you can basically tell me but you can easily come here to this website and you can download the version zero as well now what are some of the features here for this one it has stunning visuals for a more engaging testing customizable settings that you can do it supports direct x and open gl and benchmarking modes are really cool as well. So these are some of the cool features here. And of course, some of the pros here is visibility is basically usually appealing for testing environments, good for testing stability of overclocking, free basic version available as well. Some of the things that I don't really like are let's say the cons, it may not stress test the newest GPUs to their limits. So if you have a new GPU, then you can think about that as well. Advanced features requires paid version. So you have to pay there if you want to use some of the advanced features. So keep that in mind. Now, next one here in the list that I want to share with you guys is MSI Combustor, right? And, and this is a very useful one. You can easily come here and download it. Okay, some of the features here, multiple stress test options, real-time temperature and clock speed monitoring, artifact scanning, built-in benchmark so these are some really cool features that you can use some of the pros here it has a user-friendly interface it combines gpu and cpu testing and of course it is free to use right some of the things i don't really like or let's say some of the cons it may not stress high-end gpus sufficiently so this is something that you have to think about right and of course limited customization so if you're an advanced user i'm sure and you've used it before you might see that some of those customization is really limited so you want to keep that in mind as well now the next one here guys is occt right some of the features here it has multiple testing modes including gpu cpu and psu detailed error reporting customizable test duration and temperature and power consumption monitors so this is really really cool and some of the Pros, it is an all-in-one hardware testing solution. So this is really nice. Highly customizable testing as well. And you can do a complete error detection with this tool. And some of the cons here, the interface can be overwhelming for beginners. If you're new, you might feel this way as well. And the full version requires payments. Now, the next tool here in the list, guys, is Passmark Performance Test, right? So 
This is a really interesting one as well. It are, some of the features is that it does 2D and 3D graphic testing, comparative benchmark, and as well it also offers CPU and memory testing alongside GPU. Some of the pros, comprehensive system testing, easy to understand results, and you get regular updates with this as well. Some of the things that are let's say not so good are the cons again is the full version required payment and some tests may not stress modern GPU fully. So this is some of the things that you want to keep in mind here guys. The next one in the list guys I want to share with you is ADA 64 Extreme. Right, some of the features here within this one is that system stability test includes GPU, so that's really cool. Detailed hardware information, customizable stress test options, and temperature and power monitor. These are some of the best features that I want to share with you. Now, in terms of pros, comprehensive system diagnostic alongside stress testing. So that is really nice. Highly detailed hardware information and customizable test scenarios as well. Dots. Some of the cons, it's a paid software and interface can be complex for casual users. So you want to keep this in mind as well. Right now, the next one here that I would like to share with you guys is GPU-Z. And some of the features that I really like here is that it gives detailed GPU information, real-time sensor reading, login capabilities, validation of GPU specifications, right? And some of the pros to back up those features is that it's absolutely free to use. It is lightweight and easy to use alongside other stress tools available. So you can have that on your computer alongside other application. And of course, it provides in-depth GPU information. As I mentioned, one of the features here, it is that it gives detailed GPU information, right? So some of the cons, it is not a stress tool on its own and limited functionalities beyond GPU monitoring. So you have to keep those in mind. So guys, the next one in the list here that I wanna share with you is Nova Bench. And I wanna share with you some of the interesting features. It offers full system benchmark, including GPU, CPU, RAM, and storage, online result comparison, and it's lightweight and quick to run, right? So some of the pros here that I wanna share with you, it is fast and easy to use. It has a free version available and it tests the whole system performance. Some of the cons is that it is not as comprehensive as dedicated GPU stress tools and it has limited customization options, right? So you wanna keep that in mind. And as you can see, it's available for Windows 10 and Windows 11, Mac, Linux, and so forth, right? Now, the last one on the list here that I would like to share with you for this video, guys, is user benchmark. And I'm sure some of you guys might hear of this one. It's also known as well. Some of the features that I wanna share is Full system benchmark, including GPU, comparison against other users, results as well as you can see here on the website here, you can see, and it tests the whole system performance. Some of the cons here, it is not a dedicated stress tool, and there is controversy over the testing methodology. Now guys, I really hope that you found value within this video and that you can try out one or few of these different GPU stress tools and that you will find something that works for you and that you can have fun testing these tool. And if you found value within this video, guys, go ahead and give this video a like. Let me know in the comments below what you think and if you use any of them. And if you know more, please share them in the comments as well for the audience to learn and to know more. But these are the 10 that I want to share with you guys. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'm looking forward to see you next time.